this wall map, you need the learners to be sitting in a circle. You'll give them a start number, an end number, and a way in which they'll count. Here the start number is 96, the end number is 104, and they're going to count up in ones. You then choose a learner to start. We'll choose the little blue learner here. They must start with the start number, and then the learners go around the circle, each of them counting up as has been indicated. In this case, counting up in ones. As soon as we get to the end number, here the red person has said the end number 104, that learner needs to raise their hand. We then start by giving them a new start number, a new end number, and a new way of counting. Here starting at 308, ending at 296 and counting down in ones, and the person immediately after the red person must now start, and they will start with 308, and again we'll go round the circle, counting in the way that we've indicated, until we get to the end number. And when we get to that end number of 296, that learner must raise their hand. And then we continue giving a new start number, a new end number, and a new way of counting. Starting at 870, counting up in tens until we get to the end number of 930. Again, the person who says the end number must put up their hand. And as soon as a learner has two hands up, they are the winner of the game. This game can be used for many different kinds of counting activities. Here, we've been focusing on just counting up or counting down in ones and in tens and focusing on where we go over the hundreds mark. So where you have to go 298, 299, 300, 301, 302, or 770, 787, 90, 800, 810, 820, either forwards or backwards, just getting learners, making sure learners can go over that hundred mark and know how hundreds work. But you can do it for many other kinds of counting activities. You could count up in fives, you could count up in threes, you could count up in fours, you could count back in sixes, whichever you want, whatever kind of counting activity you want the learners to practice.